Hello guys, I'm Mr. Mechanic and I'm here with another video on my YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to um, design this uh, 3D model in SolidWorks and uh, here we have the dimensions. Uh, this is the top view of the model and here we have the right view and we'll get help from these dimensions to uh, design this uh, 3D model. Uh, before getting started, um, uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and put your comments, your subscription, your comments give me more energy to upload more videos on my YouTube channel. So, uh, let's get started as soon as possible. Uh, here we have the dimension. Uh, firstly, after have to close the model. For closing mod uh, the model, uh, just come here and click on close. Now I have to make a new part. Uh, for making a new part in SolidWorks, uh, just come to the new part. Okay. Now we have a new part. Uh, firstly, you have to draw, uh, draw the sketch of the uh, top view, then we'll extrude the sketch. So for drawing a sketch, we, uh, we need a plane. And uh, in SolidWorks, we have three standard planes, uh, front plane, top plane, and right plane. At first, it doesn't matter which plane you choose, but I suggest you to choose the uh, front plane. So click on the front, uh, front plane and click on the sketch. Now we have open a sketch. Uh, here, uh, choose a corner rectangle and draw a rectangle and uh, right click and select to exit the rectangle. Here choose the smart dimension. The dimension of uh, from this line to uh, this line is uh, 214 millimeter. So if you can see the dimensions or the, uh, or the relations, just come to the high dash show items and you can turn on or turn off the sketch view relation or the dimensions. So uh, here choose a three point arc. I'm going to draw an arc here. So here I start drawing the arc from this line and connect the arc to uh, this line. And the center of the arc must be this side of the sketch. And yes, and we have to draw another arc. So here I draw another one another rock and I right click and select. Here choose three entities. I'm going to trim this line and this line. So here we have to trim this line and this line. And uh, click on OK. So uh, here uh, hold the control button and uh, choose the center of this arc and this point and give it vertical relation. And choose this point and this one and give it horizontal uh, relation and do the same thing here vertical uh, relation so you can simply hold the uh, hold the control button and you can uh, uh, give them uh, give the entities a relation in add relation horizontal relation yes here choose a smart dimension the dimension from this line to this line is um, 214 millimeter so the sketch is not a stick fully fine because uh, the sketch is uh, still moving so here choose a smart dimension the, the, the radius of this uh, the radius of uh, this arc is uh, 60 millimeter sorry it is uh, 50 millimeter and uh, this arc has the same uh, radius with this one so hold the control button I'm going to give it equal relation so choose this arc and this one and give them uh, equal relation now uh, they have both uh, radius of 15 uh, millimeter but uh, the sketch is not uh, still fully fine because the sketch is moving. So hold the control button and choose the middle of this point. Or we can do something else. Uh, here choose um, uh, center line and connect the center of this uh, arc to this arc. And right click and select. Now um, uh, right click on uh, this uh, center line and here choose select midpoint. And now hold the control button and choose the origin point and in add relation give it constant relation now we can see the sketch is fully fine the lines uh, are black and the sketch is not moving now uh, we have to uh, offset uh, these lines so here uh, choose offset entities and uh, choose these uh, lines choose this line and here turn on the select chain it means that if you click this line it will automatically click uh, all of the uh, connected uh, uh, lines and uh, arcs so here uh, turn on the reverse we have to offset these lines um, uh, reverse and uh, here uh, we have to offset the sketch about uh, 15 uh, millimeters so we can see here is 15 millimeter and click on ok now all you have to do is just um, extrude the sketch here come to the feature if you don't have the feature tab you can simply right click and you can turn on or turn off the feature tab here uh, come to extrude boss and base and in selected contour uh, choose this uh, this region 
don't turn on these two options uh, here must be from a sketch plane blind and we have to extrude the sketch about um uh, 20 millimeter and okay so we can see uh, here we have the model and uh, we can simply uh, change the color of the model so click on this uh, extrusion and uh, here in edit appearance we can change the color for example to uh, blue purple or i think red is better yes uh, red and okay and uh, in uh, view orientation uh, we can change many different views for example uh, here is the uh, view orientation and if you click on the video, uh, view orientation we can change the different views for example i think this view is better yes and um, uh, i will leave the link of uh, this dimension in the caption uh, please practice at home and do it yourself uh, i have uploaded over 60 videos on my youtube channel about uh, designing and uh, drawing a sketch in solidworks uh, please watch those videos um, and uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe to my youtube channel and uh, put your comments your subscription and your comments give me more energy to upload more videos on my youtube channel and uh, thanks for watching this video